the next stop is Seychelles. Donate to the Emirates Airline Foundation using credit or debit cards to start for <laughs> Here is the area we will be waiting for the jetty. Uh, our flight landed around 12.30 and the jetty time is uh, 4 o'clock so we have around 2 hours to wait for the jetty and it will take us to the Silhouette Island. And this is the lunch. Uh, you can have your lunch and dinner. They are checking you here before you arrive to the hotel. And this is the area you can wait you have a wonderful view and we are going to that island which looks like silhouette it looks really like a silhouette if your flight is uh, very early or late if you have more time uh, there is a beach over there and also here a small beach you can swim and uh, they provide you with uh, showers and also they said they have a package here. The package uh, includes uh, dinner and also they have room. You can stay in the room if you have more time for the flight. Our flight time is about midnight, but the latest boat from Silhouette Island is at three o'clock. So we will be here four o'clock until at least uh, 10 o'clock. We need to spend some time. They offer 900, includes uh, dinner and also the room. So we will consider that option and uh, you, can, you can just swim here before going hotel or the guy told us the, another beach over there very much better than this uh, smaller one but this is closer I'm not sure I don't see much difference this is Bell Vallon Beach and this is 2.5 kilometers away from the Hilton Labris Jetty Lounge uh, we took the bus to come here because the taxi asked 20 euros instead of that we prefer to pay 7 rupees it wasn't crowded that's why we took it took only two stop two minutes maybe maybe three minutes i don't know we've been told that uh, this is the one of the best beaches in in Mahe. before coming to seychelles you need to take pcr test 72 hours before your flight departure time and also you need to fill a health declaration form this uh, health declaration form process costs you 10 euros on the other hand they make you fill another form at the airport we got difficulty to find a pen that's why i would recommend you to bring a pen with you it's a simple form we decided to take a walking tour nearby the uh, jetty lounge uh, we heard that the crime uh, percentage is very low in seychelles however we walked uh, amidst a group of young people they looked as uh, weird we thought they were following us but then they, that they stopped uh, looking us but we scared a bit i believe there is nothing wrong here so the walking uh, road is uh, here uh, very nice as you can see there is ocean beneath us and also a road with uh, with jungles but the good thing in this jungle there are no wild animals there are different kind of birds 
even though this island is very close to Madagascar and Madagascar is very well known about the wildlife but here they said uh, nothing dangerous in the jungle actually so we will go to that island, Silhouette Island We are on the jetty and uh, you can sit inside or you can sit outside, you have that option which I like very much and the view from the boat, especially the Mahe Island view is uh, amazing This is a very significant part of the island because the people who lived here used to own this island. Mm -hmm. Privately owned by this family, they had their own coffee vanilla plantations in the forest. Uh, in the 1960s though, the government took that island and when they leased it to us, we made it into a local Creole restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it's for local food, it's open in the evenings. Uh -huh. So if you like to try that kind of food, you could come over here. This is our room. They welcomed us like this, which is amazing. They decorated with uh, dried flowers. And this is the bed decoration. As we are a Hilton Gold member, they uh, gifted us uh, two bottles. Uh, we can take them with us to our home. If you want, you can also refill these bottles in the reception area. They have their purified water. So you don't need to pay for the water. As Hilton Gold member, they also supply two bottles of water. And this is the bathroom. We have one bathtub here, one shower here. And also, if you want, we can have our shower here, outside. And this is our patio, we have some beds. They also gift us this bag. We can also take this bag with us if you want. And they put towels like this. And this is, this is after sun. They put also after sun for us. And uh, we can walk to the beach from there. They also warned us that uh, there are many mosquitoes. It's better to put a mosquito repellent. The water is uh, too shallow here, so we are trying to find deeper place. Talan is swimming somewhere like this. There are some pools uh, between the rocks. Probably they have, but we couldn't find. We, we didn't ask. We, we wanted to discover today by our own. So maybe uh, tomorrow we will ask, but today just discovery alone without knowing anything. Uh, we try to walk behind the waves so we could swim but unfortunately it is uh, too rocky and uh, very very sharp rocks so we decided to turn and it is not also deep it is very very shallow the reason we couldn't find anywhere to swim because we, we learned that <laughs> we wake up so early and uh, because of the low tide low because tide. of the low tide the sea was very shallow and we could only walk we couldn't swim and we walk around four kilometers to find uh, anywhere to swim. We only found uh, some place between the rocks. Uh, we use it as a swimming pool, but we learned that it's because of the low tide. Now the sea came back and uh, I think uh, we can swim. And uh, the best beach they recommended is next to this uh, jetty station. There is a very small beach. Behind that rock, uh, there is a cemetery. Uh, we will try to go there. There was low tide in the morning, but now there is a very high tide. So this beach was a very large beach in the morning. But at the moment, unfortunately, there is no beach, only sea. We, we came to walk here, but I think it is uh, rising and rising. 
Uh, we scare now if we stuck here, we will not able to return uh, unless we, we want to swim. <laughs> Hilton uh, Gold member. For us, bicycle rent is uh, free of charge until 6 p.m. We have to drop it to the concierge uh, at 6 p.m. But we can take it back in the morning again. If you are not a Gold Hilton Runners or Diamond member, uh, you have to pay for the bicycle. I don't know how much, but I'll try to learn for you. The island is very convenient for bicycles because uh, there are very good roads uh, for bicycle, and you can take the tour. We took a small trail. Actually, there are many trails, but we picked the shortest one. The team uh, warned us about uh, taking these trails alone because uh, you can easily lose here. There are some signs. However, we understood that those signs are not reliable because the, the path we took should be a main path. But it took us to, to the rear path. Now uh, it's getting darker. Uh, we were looking for the cemetery, but we couldn't find Instead, we found a very nice ocean and this part is uh, overlooking the uh, Mahe Island. You can swim here, but the rips are very strong. That's why there are many warnings. It's not easy to walk. It's really difficult. Even we put uh, mosquito repellent. Still, uh, the mosquitoes or some bugs, we don't know, they're, they're biting us. But guys, uh, it's really amazing. Another part of the world. Hotel is trying to sell you uh, guided tours around 125-130 uh, but the tour takes all day so we didn't want to take this we preferred our own because we don't want to want to spend all the day on the on the road most probably it will be an amazing uh, trip uh, if you can uh, do it This is Ramasse Toad. I don't know how do you spell, but there is a trail to come here, and uh, the trail takes around five minutes. It's not very difficult. A bit difficult, yes, but just takes five minutes. One of the, I think, shortest trails. When you come here, there is an amazing view, but all rocky if you want to swim. It's not possible to swim. But if you want to take some photos, uh, it's a definitely perfect place. And uh, over there, I think that's the Mahe main island. You can ask for the map from the, uh, from the concierge, not reception or even re reception. And you can uh, discover those trails by your own. If you continue from that thought, uh, I don't know what thought, uh, you will see a cemetery. If you continue Ramasa thought, uh, you will end up at this beach. But this beach is amazing. For me, I can't swim, it's, uh, the waves are too strong and uh, there is a very strong current.
once upon a time, Seychelles <laughs> used to be. <laughs> it's like I'm telling a story, but yes, it's a story. <laughs> once upon a time, Seychelles used to be a <laughs> pirate island, guys. It is believed that the famous French pirate Labouze or Labouze, I don't know how do you spell, put his treasures into Seychelles Islands into the little pieces and he hide them in all over the island and it is believed that some of the pieces of this treasure already found and there are some uh, dedicated people also looking for the remaining ones but it's a story how it is true I don't know there are 115 islands in Seychelles however uh, main population is uh, in three islands 90% uh, of the population is in Mahe Island following by the Ladik and Pristine Islands there are three islands mainly populated yes of course there are some other private islands uh, there are some hotels the best time to visit Seychelles from May till September However, our uh, taxi driver told us that uh, June, July, August is too windy and we are in May. It was also windy and uh, during the day, whenever we wake up, we saw uh, low tide so we couldn't swim. Uh, in the afternoon, it was very high tide with uh, strong waves so we couldn't also swim. Uh, and I asked the concierge which is real best season and he told me that April actually the best seasons however if you want to come anytime in the year uh, you can still come because May till September is dry season the other periods are rainy season but it, uh, they say that it never rains all day it started to rain heavily and we are in May usually it doesn't rain it's uh, a dry season in May but sometimes uh, we can see the rain, especially during the day, sometimes very, very little rain. But this time it was really very heavy rain, but it took only two minutes. I oh, my, <laughs> my umbrella is flying. <laughs> I think it's coming again. And the weather always, uh, always good to uh, around 29, 32 degrees. So you can visit anytime you want. If you want to come during dry season, I guess it is, it is really too windy, by the way. <laughs> Hilton Labris is the only uh, resort hotel in this island. However, the island is not a private island. If you are staying in Mahe, you can also visit here by boat. Uh, it's not cheap, uh, by the way. Uh, we pay 290 euros for two person uh, return. There are many trails in the island. There are short trails, there are long trails. The longest one uh, is uh, six hours hiking and your prize will be seeing the giant turtles. These turtles are in the hotel but uh, at the other part of the island there are huge turtles, huge but it takes around six hours to walk but it is too difficult that's why they recommend you to take a guide Otherwise, uh, the path is uh, very slippery, steep, and you may easily get lost. They are selling guide tours starting very early in the morning and until the sunset. And it costs around, I think, 115 or 125 euros per person. If you trust uh, on your strength or uh, your navigation, uh, you can try it uh, by your own and uh, they can give you the map but we couldn't do it uh, to be honest uh, because Selan is pregnant and uh, really we, we took the small trails uh, they were already very uh, scary Hilton Labris is a really very beautiful hotel the rooms are are very well decorated uh, we stayed in the garden villa uh, however the beach villa is only three steps away from us so we didn't want to pay for the uh, beach villa it is in front of the beach but the beach is not private to yourself in order to reach to the beach 
I was using the beach villas beach actually. You can rent a bike in this island. It is 200 seishas rupee per bike per day. You have to take it in the morning and you have to leave it at 6 p.m. Even you wanna rent it for one week, doesn't matter. You have to leave it at 6 p.m. It is very useful here because you can ride from one side of the island to the another side. And also you can park your bike with your stuff on it and you can take the trails or you can try another beach or your bikes and your stuff will be still there. And I will definitely recommend it will be the best thing you do in this island. If you are Hilton Honors Gold or Diamond member, uh, bike rent is free for you. Kayaking is also free uh, for Hilton Gold and Diamond members. I'm not sure about this, but I guess it is 250 rupees uh, if you're not a Gold or Diamond member. However, the problem is in the morning there is a low tide, in the afternoon there is a high tide and strong waves. That's why in six days period, although it is free of charge, we were never able to do that uh, because of the weather conditions. <laughs> This is our last day and finally we could make kayaking guys <laughs> and just 10 minutes but this hit was amazing we couldn't see any snorkeling attractions in this island maybe you should take a tour about it but tours are here really very expensive a day tour to to the three islands uh, was uh, we, we've been told that 190 euros per person uh, the island has mosquito and insect problems even you put some mosquito repellent on you uh, still you will be bitten however if you don't put it will get worse that's why i would uh, definitely recommend you to bring mosquito repellent guys uh, there are also very small insects uh, like mosquito but they are not uh, whenever you drink something sweetie like uh, smoothies and if you leave them alone for two minutes you will see all the uh, insects uh, floating on it that's why I will recommend you to cover your drinks when you come here, otherwise it will ruin. When you ask the staff, they change it. It's not a big problem, but how many times you need to ask it? Because all the time, one minute you leave your drink alone, uh, you will see those insects inside your drink. It is happening because there are many lakes in this island, and these uh, lakes are the uh, home to the very different kind of birds, fishes, crabs, and some other creatures of course as well as uh, mosquitoes and insects and the uh, hotel management is dedicated to preserve this uh, natural life that's why uh, there is no action on this during the evening i saw they do some pest controls uh, however this is a very natural giant uh, jungle so you would expect this straws are from pasta you can eat if you want five restaurants they have one italian restaurant one japanese live cooking restaurant one asian restaurant one uh, local restaurant local seisha's food and uh, the one uh, breakfast restaurant the menu in the restaurants are very weak they serve only three main courses mainly sometimes four however food quality is really very good the restaurant prices are we ended up with 90 hundred dollars uh, including two beverages or, or one beer one beverage or one beer one smoothie 
and uh, two starters two main course around 90 or 100 dollars the most expensive restaurant was tapenyaki this is the japanese live cooking restaurant cheapest menu was starting from 1000 which is a steak and the others are to 2000 2500 so it was a set menu it was and also it was set menu yes it was also set menu they're also serving you rices salads uh, soup and uh, the main the dessert and main course so yes it was the most expensive but the richest one by the way the food portions are very small so if you think that you will be okay with only main course most probably you will not. Uh, you should definitely order starter at the beginning. I like breakfast so much. What do you think about breakfast? No. <laughs> I always expect that more diverse of cheese and I don't know. Yeah, Selen Se 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 likes cheese so much, but they have usually one or oh, two so kind of maximum two kind of cheese uh, however those cheese quality was very good uh, on the other that hand was very good, but it was okay okay for her okay but for me guys amazing <laughs> it was amazing why because they serve freshly squeezed fruit juices papaya mango pineapple and even you can get coconut juice and also they serve fresh fruits choices are not very much However, the quality was perfect. Uh, they produce uh, watermelon and uh, most of the uh, vegetables and uh, herbs uh, they produce here. Uh, it comes uh, very fresh and organic every day. amazing sunrise uh, in the island just you need to walk two three steps uh, in order to see the sunrise however it's not possible to see the sunset in the island so sun is setting down behind of the island so it's not possible from you to see uh, directly only from the side of the island you can see the uh, sunset <laughs> discovered a new village here. Its name is uh, Chapal village and uh, as far as we know uh, we've been told that there are only 30 local people living in this island although uh, there is a school here but uh, these uh, 30 locals uh, children already grew up and they uh, already left the island that's why uh, the school is uh, very empty at the moment. Uh, there is no teacher, uh, no one uh, getting any education there. It's just empty. Uh, on the other hand, there is uh, one clinic here in case you need to make a PCR test, and it costs actually 3,500 uh, seishas rupee. Uh, and that's all you talk too much. Yeah, I think so. I talk too much. Okay, <laughs> yo, yo. Uh, let me show you the Chapel village. The local says here IDC village, but tourists know it as a Chapel village. Only 30 people living here. I was not expecting there will be a nice village in this island. I was expecting this uh, island will be completely touristy, but it is not. It is definitely, definitely locals living here and it is a very nice real village guys it's not a touristic village they have even a church uh, in the island and it was built in 1968 by the Notre Dame du Rosario
This is a forest spa. You can come and take massage and they are really really very good. And uh, if you want to swim here instead of the main pool because of uh, sometimes it's getting crowded. Uh, you can you can use this pool but you need to book also there is a jacuzzi and uh, saunas here please do not forget to subscribe see you in our next video bye bye